Hi, this is Justin Udy here, Justin Udy and Team Real Estate. Hey, today let's talk about lumber prices, uh, supply and demand, and what you should expect in the homes you're selling and the homes that you are getting into. Folks, let's go over a couple things about the lumber prices. Now, there was a really great article in Deseret News, and I want you to just take a quick look at kind of their graph about what's happened with lumber prices, OSB prices, studs. Uh, there has been such a change, and I don't want you to just think about those materials, but materials in general have increased. So this is the one thing I want you to think about. Typically, the home you sell in, the market and the home you sell in is the property you get into. But one of the things in a word of caution with new construction is you are selling your home at a premium, but often new construction prices are adjusting very drastic per supply and demand. So is this something to worry about? I will tell you a couple different things. The market is based on supply and demand. If the prices get to a point where builders are so nervous that they're not going to build, if buyers are priced out of the market due to the new construction prices, it'll cause a demand issue. So what'll happen? There'll be oversupply and then that'll make an adjustment in price. Now we have a housing issue where there's maybe not enough housing. When will this occur? Who knows? Right now we're in summertime. This is one of the strongest seasons where people are building. So is it fair to say that it's going to continue at this rate? Probably. And it's just due to everything that's going on. But in the future, in the colder seasons, in North America in general, things tend to not have as much construction due to the climate. So I want you to just consider the fact that will things change? I think they likely will. Will it be soon? Probably not. But what I want you to think of is now what you may start seeing is it wasn't just now, but it's also in the past where people were being creative to figure out things. Like take for example, this is a 1947 property. Uh, in the walls, you can see it's actually reclaimed wood. They reclaimed the wood and it's throughout this property in downtown Salt Lake near the university where they put those in. There's another article that talked about builders starting to build with bamboo because that product is cheaper and it's just as durable. So consider the fact when people start making adjustments on different materials, just do your research, know what they're looking at, know if it makes sense, and just consider that as you're evaluating a new construction property, renovation projects, keep in line. We had a, a, a client reach out saying, hey, I want a cost plus, but I want a fixed cost. And it's like, listen, you got to decide what you want, because if a builder tells you it's going to be a fixed cost, they're going to leave a gap in that pricing, not knowing what the market's doing. They have, they don't have a crystal ball, but if it's cost plus, whatever that cost is, they're going to add their amount to it. So just know what you're looking for, know what you're asking for. And if you have any questions on contracts, how to consider the new construction, pricing, looking forward and just getting maybe a third part of you as we're dealing with new construction projects, renovations, uh, buying and selling properties, just let us know so that we can get you the data so that you can evaluate it and make the best informed decision. Anyway, thank you. Hope to talk to you soon.